Hello, and in this one, we are installing Lutris, and it's pretty straightforward and pretty easy to do. Just type in sudo pacman s Lutris, and this does install Lutris, but there are a bit few dependencies that we just will check if it's done or if it installs or not. If it doesn't, we will install them manually. So, Lutris is really great when it comes to kind of managing all your launchers in Linux. So you have Steam, like GOG, then we have like uh, Epic Launcher, like Ubisoft, like there's a bunch of launchers out there. And this is great to kind of centralize all of them in one single package instead of you having to install like multiple launchers. But do keep in mind, since it does run everything, like even Wine, for example, is run through Lutris, you can use like appli Windows applications on this. Um, it may be like not the optimal way to use everything. So if you do use like a single thing, like single launcher it's better to get that so if you use steam for example you can just watch this video which where i showed you how to install like steam for example on there i'll put up uh, links in the description for like if you want individual launchers but as you can see there are a few more things that we do need to install like for example wine make sure you have that installed and again if you don't uh, know how to do this or if it doesn't work for you if you get an error make sure to watch this video which will kind of show you how to install wine and and uh, like have it working if you don't work like if it doesn't work or if it breaks for some reason uh, there's a few more things that we need but again you can like if you do want you can just run lutris at this point and it should work but again it's better to be safe and install everything or check if everything is working than to kind of <laughs> randomly guess stuff so these are a few packages that you do need so make sure to check those out and this is for so and this is for kind of like vulcan 3d so make sure to clear that out and uh, we will also get something for uh, i would say like the direct x so for that i want to use yay but you make sure to check this video out to see how to install yay or you can just manually install it so yeah if you have yay already installed then i skip ahead or i'll just cut it right here now we'll just type in this which is basically kind of like the direct x translation for like linux and again it's great to have so make sure to get it and there you go it is 26 megabytes and i think we covered everything that we needed uh now we can now we can run the program so there we go we have lutris right there click on it and it should open right up and as you can see it is configuring everything in the bottom section so it is downloading stuff that it needs so just wait for it to finish everything up and by just the initial look you can see like there is is every single launcher that exists under the sun like in here and you can use all of them so it kind of centralizes everything instead of just looking for every tool that you need it just runs everything from the lutris and this is a great tool again if you have multiple launchers so as you can see there is a lot so make sure to log into the accounts that you have or the ones you want to use and that is again basically it for <laughs> this thing as you can see if you just click on it it will ask you for your login and again i won't log in right now because yeah this is a vm so yeah anyway uh, as you can see there's steam so for steam there is a bit of configuring that you need to do it will tell you by the way so there you go so i am opening steam now and there is a bit con a bit of configuration that you need to do for you to see the steam library on to lutris so here's what you need to do so just log into your steam account uh, so after you have steam installed or like opened uh, you can see there is a bunch of options in the settings panel but yeah so let me just open the steam again uh, so if i just refresh this you can see it will say that uh, we need a bit of config we need to make our uh, library kind of like public so it can actually access it so yeah let me show you how it's done uh, also i just kind of quickly made a lutris account because why not uh, back up so now we can just log into lutris so after we are in the steam like steam uh, we have to kind of edit our profile so there you go we'll just go to edit profile and in here just go to so so go to privacy settings and in here just uh, my profile is already private but uh, in the game details so this one right here let's put this in public so instead of friends only just do public and that should be it and Lutris should be able to access your steam uh, library so there you go now if i just go to steam and refresh it it should work and please don't judge my games on steam i don't have enough money to buy anything good uh, anyway so uh, you can just go through all of them and add your accounts to each one of them and that's about it for this video and let me know how you feel like how much you like lutris or if you don't like it if you prefer something else make sure to leave it in the comments down below and do check out the shop i'll see you guys in the next one bye